25.4, but we're back. We're away, and joining us on course is Caroline Pamuchki. She rides HSH Tolan King on a dressage 29.0. One of those that could go amongst that leaderboard. And she's already been out once. She knows that she can get the time. She knows how the complexes feel. Again, it is going to be a bit of an edge for her having multiple rides before she heads out on the leader of this track. But again, a super horse in HSH Tolan King. <laughs> uh, a little horse that... Uh, Show off. <laughs> It's just reading. <laughs> <laughs> just reading. All right. <laughs> uh, Ka Caroline, a very, very busy, busy lady this weekend, having already won the four-year-old classes. Uh, three horses in this division. She is uh, setting Team USA on fire, and she will head down to the Pan American Games, leaving from here on Sunday. Horses left out of Miami yesterday, well on their way to represent Team USA. No. <laughs> and that is, we've seen that a few times, and that is why Ian moved that fence back a bit, because the horse is just not sure what to, you know, what to focus on coming out of there. Well, you can hear the strong wind. We were due some strong gusts of wind this afternoon as we fast approach uh, 11 o'clock here in the morning. Caroline Pabuchku goes down the race course proper. She's on the timber race course, coming down to those timber rails where we sadly saw Jenny Brannigan part company with Pascal. Yes, and, and again, it's really interesting how he set these rails up because, again, they have on the frangible device. They have the second jump there, which the, the, the riders need to set the lineup so they go around. That's where you saw Jenny's horse, Pascal, just jump it. Um, and so maybe in a previous life, he was a, a, a timber racer. But um, here we have Caroline coming around, too. We've got the big table here, and then we line up for our sunken road. I'd be interested to see where she goes because if you've been watching HSH Tolan uh, King jump, he's been a little bit spooky so far. And whether she'll go direct here, I mean, she's nothing but brave, or whether she'll go long. Now, she's setting up for the quick way, of course, and she'll just give him a little bit of a steady run through here. Let him find his feet. Very brave. One stride. Oh, as easy as anything. You know what's interesting is that she had said, um, you know, when we commentated on this horse yesterday in the dressage, she said the horse was in her yard for two years, not bought yeah. because it wasn't fancy enough and it was a bit sharp. And in the dressage, you didn't see that sharpness. The horse has been so well trained, so well schooled, but you're seeing it out here and yeah. how careful and sharp it is around the track. Yeah. And, and the spook in the main arena had a spook again when he landed after those uh, timber rails at four, just having the odd look around. And look around, he might do, because there's so much to look at. The tailgating, up close and personal with the cross-country action here on cross-country day. It is, of course, the Rupert Landscaping cross-country day here at the Mars Merritt and Five Star Powered by Brown Advisory. And what an exciting day it's been already. Great, great day for horse sport. Great day to be out here. Nothing but getting the energy building for the the Pan, uh, the Pan Am, the five star <laughs> later this afternoon. <laughs> Pan Am's next week. But here we've got these young, exciting horses for the future really getting geared up. And the track, I, I am hoping that Ian's day for cross country it's a great day for the horses might be a little chilly for for us us uh, mere mortals but the sun is out the wind is blowing and uh, depending where the wind is it does speed up planes i'm sure it can help these horses a little bit with yeah. the tailwind <laughs> absolutely <laughs> yeah well here comes caroline pamuchku beautifully over that new wave wave now the rail ditch and arrowheads and Super. as good as any we've seen this is such a good horse i mean what a miss but what a catch it has been because Caroline, as you said, she advertised this horse. Nobody wanted him. And I don't think he's for sale now. She might sell some shares. That's about <laughs> it. And great shot there. You know, that we walking that jump, there's a really sharp angle down to a big brush. And you can jump the first jump a little straighter and do it in five. Or you can 
put a real slice on the first brush and head down there in uh, four strides. We thought that would cause a little more trouble, but the horses are popping through it, no problem. Yeah, four minutes and 30 left on the clock. Pa Caroline Pamuchkin now goes to the Park Rangers potting shed and the pheasant feeder. They're all on this long gallop. Now from Swishing the tail, getting wound up a little bit as we have Caroline up top at this stunning water. And again, it's somewhere I'd advise you to go watch from the flag comes down but that will mean nothing she held for the three got the three then you have a little bit more control coming down yes. the bank yeah. and with a young horse you know she wants to give this horse the the experience and when you've got a horse like this i mean i say young eight he is very young and to to actually steer him through like that give him the confidence i mean look at him pulling down here caroline's having to say come on whoa and, and caroline's a tall strong yeah. girl so you know and a lot of this is just the horse's keenness Keen. yeah. you know he's just ready to go it doesn't necessarily look like he's he's necessarily strong in the mouth he's just keen to go and caroline has a spectacular eye for a fence and when we say eye for a fence just seeing a good play, point of takeoff far away you know it's kind of like for a person as they're i always compare it to the moving sidewalks in the airport you know like if you kind yeah. of stutter and overthink it on the way out or you can just smoothly step off yeah. with all your luggage and uh uh, Caroline has a great eye for a fence, so she can really place these horses in, in a space that is comfortable for them to leave the ground. From. It's funny, isn't it? I always try and see a stride to the end of those runways. I do too. Um, I try and move up my distance. So do I. <laughs> I know it's sad, isn't it? I even try and do that to cracks in the road. And, yeah. and you know, if they're on the sidewalk, yeah. I try and do exactly the same. Try and see a stride, even if two points make and I go, I make a corner. I, totally I mean, that's agree. how sad we are. We <laughs> Chestnut Gelding, owned by the Off the Track Thoroughbred Syndicate, 40. Point five was their dressage. Back to Caroline Pamuchku and the lovely HSH Tolan King. They've got one fence left to jump 12 seconds on the clock. It's going to be a good round for her. She's just making sure she gets there and jumps the last. It was a bit of a grapple fight to the final fence and he's still pulling. <laughs> Three seconds inside Incredible. the time. They could go around again. Yes. And uh, Caroline bases in Ocala in the winter and is up uh, in this area for the rest of the year. And it is such a fabulous place to he get wants horses to go. He's fit. still pulling. He is. She's going to go straight back to the barn. Bypass.